What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today is gonna to be one of those type of days. Mystery Tackle Box Pro is here. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna give it away and I'll tell you how to win it. Stay tuned, let's do this. Now that we got the intro out of the way, let's talk about what we're doing today. This happens every single month on the channel. I get two Mystery Tackle Boxes every single month. I'm not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box in any way, but again, Mystery Tackle Box, if you're watching, wouldn't mind that. Hit me up, let's talk. I give one away. So all you gotta do, wait till the end of the video. I'll tell you how to win it, um, but we're gonna crack this thing open. I'm gonna try to do this very, very quick today not waste any of your time. Talk quickly about the baits, how they're gonna be used, if they're appropriate for this time of year, and I'm gonna rank them one through however many baits there are um, just for this time of year in the bodies of water that I fish in Alabama. Again, if you don't know, my name is Brett. I run the Bee Fishing Channel. Let's get down here to the box. Let's do this. We're not gonna use the big camera for this. Big camera does not have enough zoom or zoom out it's not wide enough it just takes up the whole screen so to get this view we got to go to the gopro so <clears throat> hopefully i mean that's what we use normally let's crack this guy open and uh see what we got this month we checked the dibble all right so there's the uh list of stuff let's go through it in order throwback lures trail blazer uh that is this guy it's a nice little swim bait um never really been a fan of this style of swim bait i mean look at the hooks the hooks look super flimsy i don't know about that um, you can get these off of Amazon for like a dime a dozen. Let me show you real quick what I mean. So here is their $10 lure from MTV. Here is like a $5 lure from Amazon. I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but just a different paint job. So not exactly gonna, I mean, it even the packaging is exactly the same. It's just printed differently. Anyway, not, a, not really a huge fan of them. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna catch fish. It will catch fish. Just not really uh, a big deal knowing that uh, I can get this almost anywhere. Um, just uh, not a huge fan. The Vexen Verns Stone Roller, that's, uh, that's this guy. This is the uh, Deep Thud series, so we've got a nice little uh, BB in there. Just to give it a nice little noise. Nice lip on it, looks like it's a 10 foot diving crankbait, uh, half ounce. So you should be able to throw it pretty far. Uh, can't really tell the hooks. They look a little bit better than that, that first one we've got. Um, this is going to go really, really good this time of year when you need to get a little bit deeper. 10 foot is about as far as I go, honestly. Um, paint job's not too bad either. It's kind of got that almost translucent look to it, but there's like a little bit of foil in there uh, just to give you a little bit of a shine. So I like that. We're going to put that to the top so far. One and two. Um, and that one's gonna drop like a rock, just saying. Oh, look, the sticker. I didn't say the sticker. So it's like a Catchco astronaut fish sticker. So good, good, good for the sticker. 10,000 fish saw crawl. That's gonna be this guy. Ooh, and it's in black and blue. I really, really like the black and blue this time of year. Um, it just seems to get the bites. Um, I think this thing would go really, really good on a Texas rig. You can bite a couple of the appendages off, throw it on the back of a jig too. Uh, this is going to catch you fish. Uh, this also has the flange on the end of the claws like you would see out of a Strike King bait. Um, really, really like this bait. A lot of action in the water. That's definitely going to catch some fish. So really, really like that bait. That's going to go to the top of the list. Soft plastics just absolutely slay um, once the shad die off, which that's where we're kind of getting to. You got to start fishing deep and slow. So <clears throat> I like those. Guggen Baits Drag and Drop. That's gonna be these guys right here. Let's see what color we got. Ooh, Watermelon Red. I do love Watermelon Red. So Drag and Drops, throw these on a drop shot. You could also have a smaller type of, uh, I mean, I wouldn't really put them on a shaky head or anything like that. I mean, this is really just a drop shot rig. Um, bait. And drop shots are what's about to be the deal. Um, you're about to get super finessey. So shaky heads, drop shots. Um, you can also throw, you know, your regular big jigs. The thing I know about this time of year that you need to keep in mind, while the dragon drops and uh, or the drop shots and the shaky heads are gonna get bit, um, a lot of the fish are gonna start slowing down, their metabolism slowing down, they're not really gonna wanna move that much. Um, so a lot of times you can hit them with a bigger profile bait um, and that sort of maximizes their movement. And they know if they, if, 
Okay, I can swim over there and attack this thing. It's a bigger profile. I'll get more protein from it, more food from it. So they're more than likely gonna attack those, but the finesse bite's also gonna be really good. I'm gonna put those in second. Up next is the Riot Baits the Probe. That's gonna be this guy's. Speaking of shaky heads, you know what I mean? This guy is gonna be awesome on a shaky head. You could also Texas rig it if you wanted to, um, but this just screams shaky head to me. And honestly, this actually could go on a drop shot as well. It's just at the fringe of being too long. Um, you wouldn't wanna really go any longer, in my opinion, for a drop shot, but this is a nice little like pumpkin color. And uh, yeah, this is gonna catch fish this time of year, right when you have to get the soft plastics and go slow. I'm gonna put this one at third. So one, two, well, do I wanna move the crank above them? Yeah, let's move the crank above them. Let's go one, two, three, four, and five over here. Up next, the Booyah swimming jig. That's gonna be this guy. Two little BBs in there. Do we have another one of those or is it just the one? I've seen these on jigs before and usually there's two of them, uh, but I only see one. But all it does is give you a little bit of a rattle. Hopefully y'all can hear that. Gives you just a little bit of a rattle. This is a swim jig. You can see the nice little V on the head to help you cut through grass. Um, not bad. It's uh, got it black, red, and it looks like a little bit of a green pumpkin on the skirt. So black, red, and a little bit of green pumpkin. Not a bad color for this time of year. However, the swim jig bite is kind of starting to go away. Um, you can fish a swim jig all year, but it really slows down in the winter time. Just not my favorite. Um, you really want to swim this stuff around grass, and uh, most of the grass is dying. So this is, in my opinion, not necessarily appropriate. Um, for this time of year. It's a half ounce jig, so you can get it down a little bit further. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be fishing this this time of year, although I wouldn't mind the color. This color actually would be really, really good, in my opinion, come spring. So keep that in mind. We're actually gonna put that just above the crappy, in my opinion, crappy multi-jointed swim bait. And last but not least, we have the EWG hooks. Four aught hooks. I'm gonna crack these open so when you get the box, it will be have been open, but I promise they're all gonna be here. So nice little four aught wide gap hooks, these guys. And uh, definitely pair up pretty nicely with these guys. I really wish the hook would be a little bit longer. If you took one appendage off of these crawls, put it right there, the hook would be right in that fatty part just above the claws. You really wanna take up as much space as you can on a, a bait like this, a bigger bait like this, because the, the fish will actually grab those claws, flip it, and try to flip it around. So you wanna get the hook as far down as you can. Um, but yeah, I can dig it. Again, if you wanted to Texas rig this, you could Texas rig the worm. That's actually a pretty appropriate size, I would think. Um, but again, shaky head for these, in my opinion. So the hook's pretty good. Uh, look pretty, pretty decent hooks. There are three of them in here, it looks like. The hooks, I'm not really gonna rank, they're hooks. You need hooks, I'm glad they send some terminal tackle. I always like it when they send terminal tackle, although I feel like the only way to get it to pair with anything would be with these, and you gotta you know, take one appendage off to get it right there in the meat. So anyway, the hooks, I'm not even gonna count. Coming in last, in my opinion, the multi-jointed swim bait, the main reason, because they got it listed at $10. Again, I'm sure it catches fish. I know they swim pretty decent, but this is the same thing you can get off like Amazon for like five bucks. Um, to me, it's just, I don't know, seems overpriced and I've never really had luck with it. If I was gonna pay this type of money for something like this, I would go with the uh, Baby Bull Shad, uh, the Mike Buka's Baby Bull Shad, which is just absolute killer. We know it swims good, kills, uh, gets fish good, and it's got better hooks on it. So that's gonna be last for me. Uh, just below that would be the Swim Jig, not because I don't think this is a great bait. I think Swim Jigs are absolutely killer baits. I just don't know that I would be using it right now with it being so cold. Then we've got the, what I think should be shaky head worms. Um, I think this would be really, really good on a shaky head, really good color, riot baits. Uh, up next, you can get on a, 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 not a deep ledge, but you know, 10 foot, that's not exactly shallow in my opinion. You're getting right to your, uh, just past your medium divers. This is a really good one. I like this one. I, I like fishing cranks. You can probably rip this thing down there and. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't float too, too bad where you can keep it down there, but it is a gold ghost pattern. I like that one in third. Second, the Guggenbait's Dragon Drop. This is just an absolute killer on a drop shot, um, and drop shots are about to be 
like what you need to go to right now. I mean, it's just super finessey. The fit, the bite's about to get a little bit more uh, lethargic, I guess, and slow down. So you're gonna have to start fishing slow and get finessey for them. And this would definitely work. And if you want to find them deep on your rock piles, some offshore structure, and you don't want to uh, get a bunch of little fish, usually the bigger fish will come out for the bigger profile stuff, just because they don't want to burn all that energy to swim over there, bite it, chase the bait, do whatever um, for a not a full meal. And this is definitely a, uh, a nice little meal. Bigger profile gets bigger bites. So I'm gonna go with this one in first. Um, overall, it's a really, really good soft plastic haul. I really wish we could have had something substituted out. That's $10 we lost on that swim swim bait, which outside of printing, you would never even know this wasn't this wasn't it. So that's the box for this month. Uh, let me flip you guys back around and we'll, uh, we'll discuss how to win it. All right, folks, so that's gonna do it for the unboxing of the Mystery Tackle Box. Hopefully you, uh, you maybe have the same line of thinking as I do when it comes to the Mystery Tackle Box this month. Let me know in the comments how I did with the order. How would you have changed up the order um, in the comments? So that gets me to how you wanna win this thing. Number one, you need to leave a comment below, again, on what you thought of my order. Is it out of order? What would you change? Was I totally off on this one? Again, this is my very first impressions of the box and that usually changes over time the more I have time to think about it. But I like giving you my first reaction as soon as I open the box, we open it together. Number two, you wanna hit the like button. If you smash the like button, that gets you entered. And finally, the third thing you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is hit the red subscribe button and turn it gray. If you want, you can hit the ding dong notifications. That just notifies you uh, by email anytime I drop a new video. Outside of that, that's optional part, but you have to hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave the comment below on what you thought of my order. I will announce the winner on this date, so it's a week from today, a week from uh, the time I dropped this video, and what you need to look out for on this date, as long as you're entered by this date by doing those three things, I will pin the winner's comment. So once I've randomly drawn, I will pin the winner's comment. If you would like to help me out on notifying you, like maybe you don't check your email that often and the email that YouTube sends, you just don't see it. Leave me your Instagram handle or your Facebook handle and I will direct message you. Um, that's the other way. If you'll leave that in the comment as well, that'll help me get in contact with you if you win. We do this giveaway every month. So if you don't win this month, you have a chance to win next month. And we also do giveaways every Wednesday night on the live stream. We do a live stream every Wednesday night where we gather some of the great fishing minds that are on the channel to help answer questions or just, you know, shoot the breeze, have a good time. That's what we're here for. And uh, we usually do a giveaway on those as well. So hang out, see if you like the channel, fill me out a little bit. And uh, if not, I understand I am definitely not for everybody. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Good luck on the mystery tackle box. Let me know again in the comments on how I did on the ranking of this box. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. You guys have a good one, later.